A new Trickmania has been released and with it a new car skin which you are able to customize and paint. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create your own skin with Substance Painter. We are also going to take a look at what is Metallic Roughness, the new texture workflow. Trackmania also offers a in-game painter, which many of you know, but the thing about this is it is pretty limited what you can do with the actual textures in there. You could also use external software like Photoshop or other picture editing programs. But in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how this is done inside of Substance Painter. Alright, so what is Metallic Roughness? Unlike in the previous editions, which used a specular gloss workflow, this is new. But it's almost the same principle. You just have different textures. And as the name states, you have a metallic and a roughness. But what do those two textures? Well, the metallic is there to only state if something is metal or not. The roughness indicates how smooth a surface is. And with the roughness, you can do a lot of cool stuff, like you can see here. Those both textures will then get applied to two different color channels into the final export texture. Alright, welcome to Substance. Before you start, I highly recommend you to check out some tutorials by the original Substance YouTube channel. They are good ones and you really should look at them before you start texturing in Substance. On the upper right corner you can see we have the different materials which are for specific parts and you can activate and disable them. And they are already named correctly, so you can even edit the wheels, by the way. You can edit all of them. Below that we have the layers, and those are the texture layers. We can see I've already created some preset for the illumination, which are the, the glow, uh, glow layers. And you can just use these. And now I'm just gonna show you a little test. I'm gonna create a paint folder and gonna put a new layer, which is a fill layer, a color fill layer. So down there you see the properties of this layer. And I'm just, you can also see all the materials in here, which are, which you can use to work on the, uh, on the skin. I'm gonna deactivate all, just keeping the color. And now you can see, um, you can change the color to something you would like. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm creating a black mask and changing the color of the upper layer. Now you can, now you can paint on this mask, but I'm gonna use a generator right here and you can see the instant result on how this works. Those generators work with mesh maps, which are, I have already baked in, like ambient occlusion. Uh, you can disable them just like you want and play around with the sliders. You will always see the final result instantly in the viewport. So what you see is what you get later on in Trackmania. Alright. Next up I'm gonna show you a second layer. So we use the full layer now. But I can also create a paint layer, which is an empty layer on which you can just paint on. Now here you can see you can scroll down, disabling all the materials as well. And if I hit the shelf, which is the location where all your resources are, you can see we have also some alphas. And in here you can import your own alphas and stuff like this, or stickers even if you put them in grayscale. And you can just select them and paint with them. You can see I also imported some of the stickers from the original Trickmania Painter. So I'm gonna select this one right here. I'm gonna make it bigger. And now I'm just gonna paint this white sticker or alpha right on the mesh. I'm gonna make it a little bit more bigger. And there we go. You can see I also activated the symmetry. So 
what you need to know about the Slayer is that you need to erase the stuff. If you use a paint layer, you need to manually erase the stuff with the eraser, which is also located on the left side below the brush icon. You can see I can just paint over it. Another cool thing about Substance is particle paint. You can also select particles and paint with these. And you can do things like this, for example, like I did here with the electric lines. So be creative, see what suits you well, what suits you the best. And you surely would get to a good result. Just to let you know, the illumination layers are also paint layers. So if you really mess up your illumination layer, and you can't just erase what you did, just delete it, copy another of the illumination layers, which is empty, and then just um, fix the opacity, which is on the right side, and back to the corresponding uh, opacity value. All right, so let's take a look on how the whole process looks when I create a skin in a time lapse.
All right, now that we've finished texturing the skin, um, we are going to export this one. And for that, I created a preset for you, which you can also put into the substance shelf folder or in the, co in the correct folder. And then you can select this in the export window. And here you can see how this all works. We have the different um, texture names with B, R, R, I, and, and so on. And this all stand for different um, textures b is the base color which is you know just the color we have r for the metallic and roughness and we have n for the normals if you have want to export some normals as well and um, we have i for the elimination which is the glow texture and ao for the ambient occlusion and those will get exported um, and some will be a little bit converted uh, on the export this goes all automatically the the preset does this all for you you don't have to do anything else there uh, we have still have the dirt mask and the dirt mask uh, takes the uh, input from a specific user channel and here you can see this user channel won't show up on the overall material view. If you want to paint your own dirt mask, which is the dirt or the ice which gets applied to the skin if you are on dirt on, or an ice surface in the game, uh, you have to paint this just on this one layer. You can see it if you um, go to this layer, then you can see how this works. Uh, white is it's, it's basically a mask. Black is no no dirt, no ice, and white is full ice, full dirt, and this is how it works. It's just a grayscale um, mask, which you can also export uh, if you want your custom dirt or ice texture. All right, now that we are going to export this, um, you can see in the export window, you can change the output folder and the resolution as well as the format. Now you have different uh, options here for the format of your textures. Um, you still have to convert it into DDS. So you need an extra program for that. I, for example, use paint.net. But you could also use for the first or for the raw export PNG or TGA, whatever you would like, whichever you can edit then after that again. So after we exported it, you just need to import all those textures into your picture editing or into the software which you're gonna convert it to DDS then. Uh, I, for example, use paint.net and here you can see I have all the textures loaded in there. And now I'm just gonna export them again in the correct um, BC, uh, BC format and because the different textures need different um, compression methods. Uh, some of them use alphas or transparency, some of them don't. So this is different from texture to texture. But in the template folder, in the template file, uh, you can download. There's also a text document which states with, uh, what kind of texture goes into which format. After you have exported this, you can just go and uh, make a, just a test, uh, a test skin in the in-game painter, and then you will have in the documents folder of Trackmania, you will have a folder called uh, Skins Models, and there you have Car Sport, and there is a zip file which is a custom skin you made in the in-game painter, and you can duplicate this, uh, this archive and just rename it to the name of the skin you want it to be now. And then you're just gonna import all those DDS textures into this uh, archive. And that's all you have to do. Next up, um, you if you have the club access, you're just gonna have to go to clubs and upload the skin. So you are able to select it then. You have to tick the box there that it is downloaded and then you are able to use it. Also, if you want to do a check on the on the skin, uh, especially because of the, the illumination, you can just go to the block editor and then um, 
the map editor and just make a little test map with some boosters and some turbos and then you can test the uh, illumination texture you could also go to the media tracker check it there or just drive overall and you will see if there are some problems with it um, but this is how it works this is how it's done in substance and you can also see it as a 3d photoshop it's basically the same just with different tools so download the file in the description there's a template for photoshop as well or you could download the official template uh, from the track mini website otherwise substance file is also there the export preset is there i hope you liked this tutorial and it helped you so see you the next time bye bye